Flats reacts to Karku reacting to Flats? Wait, actually, Karku did say I could watch his old videos. Actually, you know what? Hang on. First one. Ready? Five years ago. One tip for every hero featuring Clone Man. Let's see how much it's changed in five years, Reinhardt tips. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name What in the f is this quality? My name is Car Q, and today, well, I really do have a special treat for you. Hello, it is I, Clone Man 16, here to give you some fantastic Rhine tips. What kind of fantastic Rhine tips? Oh my god, look at the old la Holy sh. Wait a minute, I don't think you can see because I'm in the way, right? Yeah, you can't. Hold on. Dude, look at the old setup! Look at the old setup! And dude, you know what this is? This was the way the old seasons worked, so you could hit like 48, 4900, it was crazy. But, but uh, after like season 4 or 5 or 6 or something like that, you couldn't hit that so high anymore. Ask, one for each of the 25 heroes in the game. But first, here is one general tip to master. One general tip I have for Ryan is the lovely swing animation cancel within to fire strike. As you get into your mid-swing, as soon as you hit the nice crackling of the bone, you push your E key or whatever key you use for your fire strike and throw it at the same time. E oh my god, remember that, that? Dude, that at some point, this was like a big tip. Easy combo of 175 damage into somebody's face. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. For the Doomfist tip, I like to block his ultimate with my shield. His puny little tiny fist damage. Also, I love the clone man, the voice clone man's doing it, it's so funny. It'll do nothing against my courageous shield as a block. Wait, wait, hang on. The tip is to block his shield? Wait, to block his ult with shield? Oh my god. For the Doomfist tip, I like to block his ultimate with my shield. His puny little tiny fist damage will do nothing against my Yo, courageous... Yo, imagine somebody asked you for a tip to how to play against Doom with Reinhardt and you said shield off his ult. People would f laugh at you now. The shield is a blocks it. Just make sure you're not in the middle, though, because you'll still take the damage. Too many people are afraid to solo shatter, but I say, when it comes to Genji... Dude, look at old sh old shadow shatter. Oh my god. It's shatter. so, it's so it's gorgeous. Nice. It's so gorgeous. Look at how far it would go. Also, is that Cat? Say, when it, it is Cat. Cat making a cameo out of a five-year-old video. Comes to Genji, it's always worth a shatter. And if he's nanoed, even better. <laughs> yeah, honestly, nowadays, I wouldn't... Most Genjis know how to dodge this. Honestly, it's now that now the tip for fighting against Genji is one, you just beat him because Genji sucks. Uh, and two, if there's a support like you have an Ana, you just pin at your Ana because the Genji goes like bug eyed and is like must kill the supports first. So if you pin at the Ana, you'll you just clap him like ninety percent of the time. As McCree approaches you, he wants to throw his flashbang at you. Uh huh. But you're a smart man. You flick your shield up and you block his. Okay, this bang. tip actually still mattered at the end of Overwatch One, so. So you may not get shot in the face. But obviously, it doesn't matter now because you don't have a flashbang. May swing on him freely. When it comes. So who's that hero? I've never heard of them before. The Pharaoh, it is not my job to deal with. Oh my God, 2,000 HP shield. Her, even though I may throw an occasional fire strike or two at her, but it is my hit scan's job to take her down for me. Make sure you are in the way to block the rockets, though. When it comes to Reaper, the best thing you can do is usually stay away, but if you are and find yourself in combat with him, make sure you swing and then disengage your shield and then back up. The it's actually jump still good. Keep distance from you and the Reaper, and when he needs to reload, that is your time to strike, my friend. You know, this is why I think Ryan is actually such a beloved hero by so many people. It's like he hasn't changed a ton over the years. It's just like people just gotten better and better and just like mastering him. When it comes to the soldier, you're probably thinking, mm, I need to get close, but keep your distance. Let your shield block most of the damage, and then when he comes in to maybe slay one of your friends... It's actually not true anymore. True Reinhardt does and beat him down. So, but as Overwatch evolved, we realized that you can actually... You should be using your whole shield as a resource. So, you see how you had 500 HP? You would actually want to take damage, so you'd be giving support ult charge and keeping your shield up for longer. Because 2,000 shield five years ago was actually a ton of shield and it meant like you know like you didn't you never broke it but then once it got nerfed to 1600 and oh like to 1200 like it shield just pops like a balloon so using your health is actually a huge part of the resources now crazy how much the game has changed though even in small changes like that they see a sombra trying to hack into your defenses turn around and block it with your shield <laughs> and watch as your hands dance around trying to breach you but you cannot <laughs> 
I know the tip for you pro rhymes out there is when a Sombra comes at you and you know she has EMP, put down your shield. That one's good. You have your shield up and she EMPs, your shield will be busted with no charge on it. But when you're when the EMP is finished though, and you have your shield down. Imagine no, the first tip is hilarious though. Imagine if a Sombra's trying to hack you and you're like, how do you deal with Sombra? Just put your shield up. Um, you the second one was good though, that's still relevant. Block. The pulse bomb in you. What should you do? Well, if the pulse bomb sticks to your shield, you can do a simple thing. A little flick yes, of Yes, that's still relevant. Shield. Bomb now has hit the floor. You reshield, blocks the damage. That's still and relevant. Fun tip for my Crusader friends. If a bomb is stuck on the side of your shield, just simply slide it into the wall and watch as the bomb explodes into the I wall. I think you actually have to let go now. I think if you put it in the in the wall and don't let go, you still take the damage. Or no damage to anybody nearby. Ah, Bastion, a tricky one at that. You have to be careful of him. If you're not, then you'll be mowed down. The best thing you can do is get in nice and close, and then give him a straight charge yes. into a wall. The safest I way remember to do that. this, though, is always to have a diva or a friendly czar to give you a nice bubble. Make sure that you get along your journey nice and safe. That's still kind of true. another fun little tip, my friends. You can shatter him to take him out of sentry mode. A fun fact for Hanzo... That doesn't apply nowadays, though. ...is that his sonic error gets stuck in your shield, but you can still move with it. So put it in somewhere useless and also a fun little fact that you probably didn't know. The arrow still does damage. So uh, watch where you drop. True. This. The best thing to do against the occurrence. Yeah, just get an off tank. True. You know what, BP? You know what's actually something hilarious? You know, there's probably people that are going to watch this. And they're going to go, wait, what did Flats just say? Just get an off tank? What does that mean? Think about that. There's actually going to be a, there's a generation of new Overwatch players don't know what an off tank is they only know the tank roll <sighs> so uh watch where you drop it the best thing to do against the accursed spam rat is to try to fire strike the dreaded tire just be careful that's though. still it's good fast, little bugger. but if that does not work then try to flick your shield around and read the movements of so tire may personally i like to try to stay away from the ice devil but the best day way you can deal with her a simple swing of the hammer a step back let the freeze unthaw and then do the same thing he'll take care of her in no time uh, that doesn't totally work anymore because she does so much damage uh with the, the freeze now but obviously you don't get frozen anymore crazy dude may's changed so much too a lot of people what I don't get is why PvE is four player. Yeah, I don't know why they made that change. Don't know this about my good friend Torbjorn, but if you charge his turret, it does 175 damage and stops it from shooting for two seconds. Oh no, old Torb. He'll take care of her in no time. A lot of people don't know. Th oh my God, he's got he's got the armor packs. He's got 200 scrap, dude. Who knows what scrap is? Oh my god, there's probably so many people out there that don't know what scrap is. Oh my god. Scrap. Holy sh**. And level 3 turrets. This about my good friend so it didn't spawn as this turret. It spawned as level 1 and then you had to build it up to level 2. And then when you ulted it became level 3. But if you charge his turret, it does 175 damage and stops it from shooting for 2 seconds. Awesome. I actually don't remember that. I didn't remember that it stunned it. If you shatter it, it does the normal 50 damage and stops it for three seconds. <laughs> Wait, you could shatter, you could shatter stun Torb turret for three seconds? Actually, does that work nowadays? But I do think it's absolutely hilarious that his tip is to shatter the turret. <laughs> and stops it from like, like at the time, actually a good, actually a good tip because the level three turret was big scary during ult. Um, so better, instead of the molten core, you know, the, the, uh, um, uh, the lava... Don't demonetize me. Of the of the Torbolt didn't exist yet. It was just basically his E now plus the level three turret. So two seconds. Also, if you shatter it, it does the normal fifty damage and stops it for three seconds. God, ah. old Who Torb, feel strong, man. Oh, uh, Widowmaker, your job is pretty much. Just to block her damage, and if you can, every once in a while, throw a fire strike at her, make sure she knows who's in charge. 200 HP Widow. But be careful, you do not want to lose the head of one of your fellow comrades in the process. My favorite Yeah, thing nowadays it's good luck to you, you don't shield off the Widow, it's up to, it, your shield breaks too fast to do that too much. Just good luck to you. To do is just as she pops out of her mech, throw a fire strike right at her, <laughs> and I'll teach you a thing or two. Another simple thing to do <laughs> Wait, wait of one of your fellow comrades in the process. 
My favorite thing to do is just as she pops out of her mech, throw a Oh, yeah, she used to pop up much higher, I think, at the time. Yeah, now you just stand on her and swing on her twice, and she does. I strike right at her, and I'll teach her a thing or two. Another simple thing to do is obviously block her bomb. We don't need our team to wipe to that. Stand in front. The tip is to stand and shield the bomb. Oh, so my God. Your team will be safe. But oh, my God. Dude, imagine in 2023, somebody comes into chat and asks, how do you fight D.Va? With Ryan, and you say to shield Another off thing the to bomb. To wipe to that, stand in front and hold strong. Oh. And your team will be safe. That's so my funny. Thing to do for her is to take down her little bongo, the supercharger. Some. Oh my God! There's gonna be people that don't know what this is. There's a new generation of Overwatch League or Overwatch League Overwatch players who don't know what this is. Oh my God! Actually, wait a minute. They don't know what this is either. They're like, Flats, why does Arissa have a soccer net in front of her? Hers to take down her little bongo, the supercharger, some call it. 200 HP is nothing compared to me. One fire. Also, Arissa looking a little funny. She doesn't have a uh, thing sticking out of her head. Air strike and two hammer swings. Does she do all of her skins have that? Maybe not. Say bye bye to your little charger. Also, you can even charge her into her own bongo. <laughs> Ah, the Reinhardt v. Reinhardt battle. My favorite kind of battle. One of the most important things. Obviously, the mind game of blocking a shatter. Nothing feels better than stopping a Ryan from destroying your whole team. Now, a really good solid tip is to build that reflex. Mm, yes, reflex to the counter charge. Yes. You always see that Reinhardt coming right towards you. Don't be afraid. Yeah, but now if you go for the you go for the counter pin, he just stops, he cancels his pin, and then f puts you on your ass. To push your opponent, <laughs> charge him right back and knock him right to the ground. Just remember, the timing for counter charging is very forgiving. Ah, the big fat man himself, Roadhog. Some people think to block all of his damage when he's ulting, but you don't really need to do that, my friends. Simply let your shield down, fly back with it, and then put your shield up. Back when Roadhog ult wasn't giga buff to the moon, perfect thing. which is actually funny to think about. Roadhog's ultimate has been literally giga buffed like multiple times you'll be nice and safe in the background with your friends and then let your shield gather up and then take the fight again my scientist monkey friend what i like to do is yeah, usually not pay much heed to him unless he gets too close to my comrades then i shall go for a nice charge and if he's ulting and knocking people back and forth well my hammer shall go down and he shall meet the wall again <laughs> oh, sorry, Happy my Russian friend. Anniversary. you know what's funny about that He's at the 32 months. Yeah, it hasn't changed much with Monkey, but at the same time, though, like, the game was so... When this came out, it was probably such heavy dive meta that you only played Ryan on certain maps where Ryan was really strong. Otherwise, you played Winston, and, like, you wouldn't even think about playing Ryan against Winston or Winston against Ryan. Like, you just you picked those characters because it was, like, good on those maps or good in those comps, etc. So that's why he's like, oh, you don't really deal with them very... Like, you don't think about them very often. It's like... Crazy how much it's changed since then. Strong, but not as strong as Reinhardt. She tries with her bubbles and whatnot to try to get energy. I say a nice little bait will work out fine. I like to throw fire strikes above her head and watch as she reaches to grab that. Not today, I say. Also, she gets up close. I like to apply my favorite thing, the Gandhi technique. But do not swing on her. She may beat you up in your face, but she does not get energy, which is. Wait, you said I think Karki forgot Junker Queen. Wait, what? What? And uh, how could this be? Throwing a sleep dart on me? My dear, all I'm going to do is fake my swing and block that dart in its tracks with that old lady hand of Oh my god. Imagine nowadays. Like, this this would be a legitimate, like, gold level play. Me? Throwing a sleep dart on me? <laughs> my Sorry, Kark. All I'm go um, going to do is fake my swing and block that dart in its tracks. They go for a fake swing and bring out sleep dart at this range? With that old lady Up close, hand of yours, you'll you don't have the time. <laughs> ah, Lucio, the bee bopper, or the spider monkey, I like to call. You can stop his sound barrier by just putting your shield in his line of sight, and making it so his team may not be shielded. Does it, did it always linger in Overwatch One? Did it linger? I know it lingers now. So, like, if you get within it, like, if you get it in in its LOS within like a second and a half, you still get beat. It's like that tip is like a little bit tough. Now I feel like. Even so, to call you can stop very the sound barrier by just that, actually that's not that actually was that, that was relevant. I would say in goats that would have been relevant, but that was more for transcendence. Um, you'd use Rhine Shield to cut the 
Cut them in half. But most of the time, you'd also pin the Rhine out and just Diva bomb them, so. Your shield in his line of sight, making us so his team may not be shielded. Ah, oh, mercy, my lovely, lovely mercy. If she's going in for a res, you can do a nice little charge as she goes in for the body. And then she goes for a ride and hits a wall. <laughs> uh, imagine, dude, that. <laughs> That'll teach you to res. Yeah, uh, try pinning a Mercy going for res in Valk nowadays. Good Red luck. Again. My favorite thing to do is get in nice and close and personal with her before her beam gets up there. Oh it my god! Dude, it's old Sim! It's personal with her before. Oh, it's the, 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 <laughs> the pool needle beam! Ah! Support Sim! Oh my god, you're right! She's up here with the supports on a Lucio Mercy Sim Zen. Oh my God, it's old Sim. Holy sh! Feels strong, man, dude. Her beam gets up there. Take her down in a one v one, and then go on. Other than that, I like to hold my shield up against her sentries or my. <laughs> the six turrets of death, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the this was originally called the car wash. Everyone used to call it the car wash. This is why. Mosquitoes as they nip at me to allow my team to pass. Also, look at how little damage they actually do. Nowadays, you just get a blit. If you had six turrets like this on Sim, you just get obliterated. And then they can destroy them themselves. Ah, uh, for Zenyatta, the last person. When Zenyatta is using a trance in the graviton, I have a couple options. The first one I do is. Charge a squishy! You can't heal a dead soldier, can you? <laughs> or, I take this in for a ride away from his teammates. Bye bye, healing, I say. And that's all of them. A big thank you. That's actually awesome. That one's, that one's still kind of relevant. Not really. Honestly, nowadays you just kind of swing into it. Um, I mean, you can still do the shield tech or the pin. The pin, the pin one still works. But I, I would, I'd probably not be trying to pin the Zen out of try, out of grav. That's probably really tough. Plus, he would just put Discord up on you, and then when you rev up for the pin, because you have to be really close to like line it up, he just kicks you away. So like, there goes, <laughs> there goes that. <laughs> oh, that was awesome.